Hello everyone, it is Ante, and as you see, I am wearing my Portland Timber shirt, I'm standing in front of my Cascadia flag, and today I have all of my um, soccer slash um, jacquard sports scarves, and I'm going to show them off. So this first bracket, I guess, is all kind of like local things, I guess. So, um... These two are both Adidas, like they're the same type of scarf, you can see they're the same pattern. They're both um, the Houston Dynamo and San Jose Earthquakes, and I don't know why I put these in the local spot, I just, they're both the same, and then Houston and San Jose are kind of like friendly rivals with uh, the Seattle Sounders, which... I'm keeping both of these scarves. I'm going through all these scarves because I'm having a garage sale soon. I think I'm going to sell um, quite a few of them because they're just sitting in my closet and I don't wear them and I don't really go to sporting events even though I would like to. Um, yeah, this one is the Tacoma Tide FC, which is, um, I'm not exactly sure, but I believe that they became um, the Seattle Sounders as we know them today. These guys started out <clears throat> in the 90s, I think, somewhere, but this is one of my first scarves, and I love being in Tacoma, so I'm keeping this one. I also um, found a Tacoma Stars t-shirt, uh, uh, excuse me, a scarf a while back, and I want to go back to that location to see if it's still there. Um, this one was a gift from Krista. It's the All-Star 2014 in Portland, so they have like this very sub, um, like, Por uh, Portland Timbers look, but it's FC Banger, which is... um. One of the teams, me and um, Krista's brother, like very much. And on the other side, it has this uh, has the MLS logo and has this very nice Rose City uh, thing with I'm not sure what mountain that is. This is the Portland Timber Starf I got when I went to Portland last uh, summer. And uh, this is just a really nice scarf. Like it has the thing where you flip it over, and then you have the Timbers logo. It's very nice. Yeah. This one I think I might sell because I have a lot more, um, I have a lot better uh, sa uh, Sounders scarves. This one's just kind of a nice uh, Jacquard Argyle pink logo. I might be selling this or giving this to uh, someone that I might know that likes it. This one was the um, one I wore to a lot of uh, band events when I didn't have a uniform and whatnot. And it's the uh, FP Soccer Club. I think this is the... Um, the high school level one, the Fury, I know there's, so yeah, FP Soccer Club. Um, so yeah, that's my high school. This one is Franklin Pierce High School. I did not get this until um, later into my high school career on. On the end, it has the uh, very nice, uh, very ripped off from St. Louis University Cardinal Head. <clears throat> this one I got with my graduation stuff. It was just like a fift extra $15, and it has this old... Um, I believe this is the older Arizona Cardinals head, because all of the ones that we use have been stolen from uh, somewhere else. And finally, on this first bracket, we have the um, the Washington Patriots scarf, which was my rival high school. Um, I found this for like $2 at a garage sale, and I just couldn't pass it up. I love the bright blue. I love the uh, the how bright the red is. Like... Like, I think you've seen that comparison. This one still has a brighter red than even, like, this brand new, um, well, maybe not. But the the colors were so nice, and, um, yeah, I just couldn't pass this one up. So, the second bracket is all, um, like, sub-local kind of things. So the first one is Central Washington Wildcats, um, college I'm currently attending. This one was a gift, Pacific Lutheran University. And on the back, they have the, uh, very nice, uh, Lutz font, which is the mascot. Um, this was a gift from a friend. Both of these are kind of made of that non jacquard stuff, which I really don't like it when scarves are made out of this stuff. It's really uncomfortable. This one was bought before I had my um, other University of Washington scarf. It's the University of Washington Women's Soccer 2013 down there. I'm going to be selling this one in the garage sale. And this one up here is another UW one, but it also is a Cougar one. And if I had a Wazoo, um, scarf, it would definitely be here. It's the Apple Cup, which is the big Thanksgiving football game against uh, Washington and Washington State. Uh, it's one of my favorite scarves, the one I first won, and it has, like, a really odd, right, like, reverse pattern, too. This one up here is my first scarf with the 12th man, Washington State Lottery, and then, uh, the Washington State Lottery logo. 
that was my very first scarf. It was a duplicate of another one that my cousin had, and he showed it to me, and that's kind of how I got interested in collecting all this. This whole collection is about, what, six years in the making, I'd say? The next one is the Seahawks when they won the Super Bowl. The uh, champions of whatever Super Bowl that is. This one is Grounders, World Famous Garlic Fries. I think this is um like a place that's both at the Clink and um, Safeco Field, I think, where the Mariners play. These two I'm definitely keeping. Um, they're both game day scarves with the Sounders and then Barcelona and... C-A-B-G, I'm not sure what that is. Boca, Boca Juniors? Huh, I, I have no idea who those are, but this is when it was still um, Quest Field, so... This is, and it's 2010, when it was still Quest Field, so this one might be worth a lot of money, and I'm keeping it, even if it is this disgusting material that these two are made of. I still really like that one. This one is another, um... <clears throat> game Day Scarf. It's 2009, actually. Which, uh, Seattle, Washington. It's against Barcelona. Um, but yeah, I really like this one. I really like the game day scarves. Here's one that I kind of just impulse bought. And it's, um, Seattle University, uh, Housing and Residence Services. Which I'm, I'm gonna be selling this one. Here is the UW one that I bought for, like, $13 at a, uh, like, sports shop. It has the UW logo at the end. It has that one. This one's an odd one. I'm not really sure if I want to sell it or not. Um, I got it for a dollar, and it's a um, mountain, Mount Rainier Lutheran High School, um, and it's the Hawks, and they have this. And then on the other side, it's the, um, the Warriors, which is the CLS Warriors. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure if I want to sell this one. This one was one of my first ones, and... Um, so down at PLU, there's an old elementary school that my grandma went to back in the 40s when she was going to elementary school, and this is, um, that is now uh, Mount Rainier Lutheran High School, and so I'm not really sure how I feel about getting rid of this one, because it, it was one of my first scarves. It's double-sided, which is just really odd, and um, I don't know how I feel about getting rid of it. Let us move on this bracket. Um, is kind of still in state, but we're also going a little bit out of state too. So we have the 737, 737 way with Boeing at the end. Um, we fly first, um, 787. Now these all three are Boeing. Um, my dad worked for Boeing, and so it's kind of just important to me, I guess. I think I'm going to keep these two, get rid of this one. The next one we move up is Seattle Prep, which, um, I'm guessing is a Christian school, private Christian school in Seattle. Getting rid of this one for most definitely. EUFC, the fleet. I have not researched this one at all. I have no idea where they are located. Here's Washington State PTA, Parent Teacher Association. I'm sure I can sell this to um, some PTA member and make them very happy. This one's going as well, so these three are all getting out of here. Wapaka High School, the Comets. Um, very nice logo there on the back has their um, team name, the Comets. Um, I I didn't know where this was from, so I looked it up, and it's from Wisconsin, which explains why I got these two together. They were both about um, seventy eight cents with some discounts at a local thrift store. This came in a whole big um, like a box, kind of like that, and they were all sealed. So I think a soccer coach from uh, Wapaka moved here and. Uh, Forgot to give his team his scarves and has to get, had to get rid of, rid of his uh, Wisconsin one. Warner Pacific Knights. This one is a private college um, in Western Oregon, I believe. Um, Graceland University Yellow Jackets. This is probably the last one I kind of impulse bought. The next wave is going to be a lot of uh, scarves that really had no place in my collection, but I just kind of bought them because they were scarves. This one... Yeah, I did the same thing. Nayman, Naman Forest, the Rangers. Um, I don't know. I really like this scarf. Um, I looked them up, and they are a small school in Texas. Um, a small, like, very, like, it's very small for Texas standards. I'm, I'm not sure if you guys know, but Texas has a kind of big high schools, I think. And then this one's moving back in state, which is Gonzaga University. I bought this with a, um... Fred Meyer gift card a long time ago because I didn't know what to do with it. 
but I think I'm going to sell this or give it to one of my friends and make some uh, GU students very happy with their scarf. And here's the last bracket. Got to catch them all. Pokemon, this was a gift from the very lovely Krista. Um, this one was going to be a gift for a friend who very quickly became not a friend, the University of San Diego Tor Toreros, I think. Um, this one is multi-care with a whole bunch of ribbons, like pink, um, orange is for animal abuse, I think, blue, yeah, all the rhythm, rhythm, rib um, ribbons for all the different causes. This one was a waste of money. Manchester United, I paid $7 for this, and this, um, scarf, despite having a very nice, uh, MU logo, was, um, very cheap, it's very thin, it won't keep you warm, it's kind of just for show, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be selling this one or not. This one was my first orange scarf, and that's kind of the main reason why I bought it. It's all kind of gross, and yeah, it's a Westminster AFC. Um, this one was very cheap. This one is another Adidas scarf, which I, which I bought with the, um, the Houston and the uh, San Jose scarves as well. This is AC Milan, which uh, I, I really like the checker. It's checkerboarded. It's just very nice. I like the Italian flag right here. This one was a gift from Krista's parents when they went to Europe. Uh, it's just Germany. It's not a sports team or anything. It's just it's just Germany. This one I'm these ones I'm probably gonna sell. This one is the Washington Youth Soccer Founders Cup 2012 Champions. This one's kind of just generic. Yet again, another one I impulse bought. HPFC Premier. Another one I impulse bought. I have not looked into their uh, club at all. It it still has the goodwill tag on it. I paid six dollars for that. Holy shit! It's blue. It's red. It's like blue, pink, and orange. And I really like the color palette, so I bought it. BJ's Bingo, a uh, local bingo hall, I think. This one might go really fast, depending on who shows up to the garage sale. This one's kind of cool. I'm not actually sure if I want to um get rid of this one, but it's Microsoft System Center Server Management. Now their side is a big uh, Microsoft logo, which it's a nice orange color too. Very nice color palette in this one. I might keep this one. Then my last one, my very last one, was just, it's probably going to be a gift to someone that likes Harry Potter, but just a, just a Harry Potter scarf that I kind of impulse bought when I started buying scarves. And yeah, that is, that is my collection. Now that is, um, most of the ones I'm going to sort through and see if I really want to sell or not. They're in that pile, they're probably getting sold. That pile, which is a much bigger pile, the ones that I'm going to keep. Thank you for taking this journey with me and seeing this fucking mess that I have created for myself.